All right, this video is for, let's see here, chapter eight, programming challenge 8-1, largest and smallest array values. Create an app that uses, users the, uses the input box method and lets the inner, user enter 10 integers into an array. The application should display the largest and smallest values of the array. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Put a little clear button. I put an exit button too. So anyway, this is what I did. So this is the input of the numbers here. Actually, we could make this smaller. Do that real quick. And step one is enter the numbers. So what we did is we cleared the list box first. De well, we declared a constant, the max subscript as integer because there's supposed to be 10 values. So that's why there's nine there. And int vowels, that's the value of the numbers that you're gonna enter. And this is the array. And then you clear your list box. You add your first thing that says input numbers. You create a counter variable and you initialize it. And then you do while int counter is less than the value here. And the length, the length would be here. So that would be 10. That's what this is. And you initialize another variable as a string at your input box method. Enter a value and the value and, and I put a, a, a underscore here like that to go onto the second line. And then you take your counter variable, you add one and then you make that to string. And then you take in, you initiate, initialize the values as an integer. And then you do a try statement. It values your input string. Value your counter values equals the int value. And then you put the label and you clear out your message box at the bottom. And then you add your value to your list box. Then you add one to your counter. And if that doesn't, if that's, if you don't enter something in your, in your, when you're entering your input, then you get a message that enter valid for the input box. So that's for that. This is your exit button. This is clears your form. Items clear list box members dot items dot clear lbl message dot text empty string and then we'll go back so we'll run it really quick before we go into the display in min and max so start out with let's see. And so that's all of them, right? So on the list box, your label on the bottom, this is where you display your min and max. And that's the largest value is 300, which is here. And the smallest value is 50, which is here and here. So it would take both of those because 
probably take the second one because that's the second one. And I'll show you where that is in the in the um, in the function in, inside here. So what I did here is I made two different functions. I made two variables called one the largest, and that goes to a function called largest, and one the smallest. That's the second result. It's integer in the smallest. And LEL text goes to result to string and make sure to add your period at the end. Go to your second line. And the smallest value is, and this is your second result, you add your period. So when you make your function, you first need to make the first function, the largest function here. And you want to return it as an integer. So inside your function, you make a new counter variable. And then you make your int largest. This is for your largest number. And then you initialize it to the first, to, to your very first value of your array. That's what zero is. So for the counter equals one to int values count minus so that's to the end of your counter or in in values count whatever this is so if is greater than the largest number which is this then the int largest equals the int values you end it like that does it for every all the no, each number and then you return the in largest as your integer here. So after you get done doing that, all you have to do is copy and paste that function and make a new function here. And I'll, I'll do that just to show you how this is done. It's pretty simple. Paste it. All you do is change it, go in, start at the top, call it smallest, and then you change this to less than, got to make sure that says smallest. Everywhere that said largest, make smallest now. So this would be smallest. And you return and you put it in your function. It probably wouldn't let me do that because I already have it. Oh yeah, well. So this is the same function here. So that's that's how that is, and that's that's the same function. And it's just all you have to do is change that in everywhere that said largest, change it to smallest for your other for your smallest function, and that does all of it. So make sure you save it afterwards, and then run it. So what ends up happening is when you input your numbers, you can go okay, let's. Well, make the first one 50, make the second one 100, 150, and then let's say 200, then let's say one up to 1,000, and then we had 400, 
200, 100, and 50, well, let's say it's 25, because that, now that'll be the smallest. And, oh, well, let's make this one the smallest. So when we display it, our largest value is 1,000, and our smallest value is 15. So anyway, that's the array for the smallest and largest uh, in the array value. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. Hope that helps. That's Introduction to Visual Basic uh, by Anthony Gaddis, Kip Irvine for Shasta College, Fall 2020. Uh, programming Challenge 8-1.